Well, another Saturday night. Here we are. It's a little cloudy. Kind of looks like snow, but there's no snow here because we're at the southernmost dirt track in the USA, the Henry County Motorsports Park. Fastest sand pit in the south is our new motto, and uh, if you saw the sprint cars, you'll know why. But uh, we're not talking sprint car racing tonight. We're talking gladiator racing. We're talking family racing. Hanging out with me right here, CJ Perman, and uh, you got a win last night. You guys did really good in the season last year, and this thing has taken off really, really good, man. Oh, yeah, it's, it's come far. Faster and faster is getting here. Now, this track's getting way better, too, is from what it used to be. Now, how old are you? Uh, I'm 14 years old. And how old were you when you started racing? Uh, 12, 13. Did you start out in the Gladiators? I, I did start out in the Gladiator. Yeah, I kind of kind of remember that. And, uh, you know, this has been really wild. You got a huge family involved. I mean, and you're all racing against each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's fun to see all the family out here racing with me. And uh, I know you and Dylan have uh, rubbed fenders quite a bit. And how does, how does that feel when you get to race against them? It, it feels good, at, especially when you're passing them. You're like, yep, I'll tell him about that one after the race. Uh, let's see, who got their first win, you or him? Um, well, technically him in the heat race, but I have he has the first heat race win, I have the first feature win. Well, now he's got to one-up you, right? Oh, yeah, he's going to eventually. So you, you've you started out in the front-wheel drive car. Do you guys have any plans on moving up into, into the rear-wheel drive cars? Uh, eventually, yes. Um, I have a 4.6 now. I'm racing both classes tonight. Uh, same number, same car looking. So has it been... Has it been difficult for you transitioning over from the front wheel drive car to the rear wheel drive car for kind of not not fully because it's like it's more mentality and understanding what the car will do so which one do you like better um well i like i like the four six because it's rear wheel you get to slide out there but the gladiator i have a lot of fun in you've been doing really good with it last year you came on strong at the end of the season and last night got your first win so you got your feature win out of the way. So now you just got to point him at Lonnie Bicey as the season gets started. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he'll be behind me now. <laughs> I got a feeling. This thing was pretty fast last night. So, uh, But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over here and talk to your brother just a little bit. And I think you're going you're gonna to go with me. <laughs> and uh, Dylan's running away. You don't have to go that far, buddy. You don't have to go that far. But it's easy to find you. I mean, you're the smallest guy, but you've got the brightest car on the track. Fifth place finished last night, right at the line, squeezed it out. Not too bad, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. So I was just asking your brother how it is getting to rub fenders with him. How do you feel about rubbing fenders with him? Uh, well, my dad said if we rub fenders, I'm out of the race, so <laughs> I don't know. So he's trying to get you to keep your nose clean, right? Yes, sir. That's all right. So do you have any plans of moving up to a 4.6? Um, uh, not yet. When I get older, probably. How old are you right now? Twelve. Twelve. And, and how old were you when you started racing? Eleven. So you've been at this a year, so that's that's pretty darn good. You guys have gotten a lot faster than this. You're starting to learn a lot more. And uh, how's it feel out? How's it feel to you racing against older, like, adults? It's difficult, but it is what it is. What's been your favorite part about getting into racing? Uh, competition. The competition. So you got a heat race win. You got that out of the way. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank Perman Diesel Solution, Uncle Tony Portlet, um, uh, my Nana for sponsoring us for fuel, my Papa and Nana for getting my car ready, my uncle for doing a lot of work to the car, and that's about it. And uh, you're in the 777. Who drives Who drives the pink and the black car? Uh, my sister, Kayla, but my dad's driving it tonight. Oh, so dad gets to drive the pink car. So now you guys got to make fun of him a little bit, right? <laughs> no, because it's fast. Because <laughs> it's fast? You have a fast driver now. All right. In that car. Good, good deal. I want to I wanna talk to your mom and dad here a little bit and uh, get them into this because they've gotten you kids into this. And I just, I grew up around racing. I know you've grown up around it, been been around it almost your entire life, pretty much. Yeah. Um, what a great way and a great tool to keep kids out of trouble, get them interested in something, and in return, it also teaches them a skill. Yes. Yeah, they they are in a lot of things. All of them play sports. Um, CJ and Dylan are in baseball and football. 
Uh, Kayla does softball in school. She's in the fire explorer program. She's in the marching band. Um, they're all in the 4-H program. They race, so there's, they're very involved. So you get to drive her car tonight because she had responsibilities elsewhere. Elsewhere, she had to be at work. That's right. She had to be at work. So I'm gonna squeeze in that seat. Uh, Seatbelts barely fit, so it should be uh, interesting. Well, maybe you should put your wife in it. I make the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, so from the, I know how my mom felt when my brother and I got into race cars. I mean, how hard was it for you to say, okay, let's put them in a car and go? Um. It I, they been racing? They've been racing for a long time. So Dylan, backstory, started at three years old in go-karts. We did start in go-karts. Dylan was three. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to race until he was five, but they allowed him to get in a cart. So CJ and Kayla as well were in go-karts. I'm their biggest fan. I record every race of theirs. Um, so I love it just as much as they do. I'd love to listen to some of those recordings because I, I imagine there's quite a bit of squealing on there. No, it's really bad. <laughs> I had to apologize in advance to some people, especially when I started in go-karts. We were video, you know, a camcorder, and now we have the technology of Facebook Live, and I have to remember my kids or my husband cannot hear me on the racetrack, only the people that are watching. So I'm trying to do my best. I love seeing the mom's aspect of this because I know what it was like when I was growing up behind the wheel of a race car and my brother and everything. And uh, bless your heart for, for putting up with all this craziness and, and thank you for letting the kids do it and, and thank you guys for being a part of the track. Yes, thank you guys. Thanks for Ken and all you track guys and everybody that supports it all. Uh, without you guys, we won't have nowhere to go. That's right. Well, we're glad you got somewhere to go. I'm glad we got somewhere to go. But uh, thank you to your whole family, mom, dad, grandparents, and everybody, and, and all your sponsors. Any, anybody you wanted to mention the kids didn't get in there? Uh, Pops, um, Nana, um, they all support it. Um, Mr. Jim Groff, which uh, is actually the reason all of us have got into the racing. Dad used to go with him to Orlando Speed World, let him hot lap his late model, and it's been uh, downhill or uphill, not sure which way, ever since. You know, we've been at the track. Uh, ever since then, so you know, I didn't know you guys had that Groff connection. That's kind of that's oh, yeah, kind of short track royalty in Florida, man. Yeah, it goes way back. Yeah, um, the only thing with him is what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Don't care who you are. He's he's exactly, old school. Exactly. Yep. He's definitely old school. old school. I love that. He, he came by last night uh, to watch CJ's four six. He left East Bay. He he goes every year to all speed weeks. Every day of the week, uh, he left East Bay to come here to watch CJ's first night in four six, and also called him to see. Technically, his third win, feature win, uh, won by default, um, but got two actual race wins where he drove through it um, and was super proud of him there. That's awesome. That's great. That's great story, great racing history, and uh, just really great to have the family out here doing it and something you guys can be involved in together because uh, that's something that, that, that a lot of people get away from. And uh, bless your hearts for getting the kids involved and being out here doing this, man. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Appreciate You're it. Very, very welcome. We got some more things to do here at the Hendry County Motorsports Park, hanging out with Dunright TV. Love you guys. And uh, the nice thing is, is Dunright TV guys, up north it's snowing, not here.